Hey there. This is a thing you can download and print. It's a modular power transfer system for lightweight robotics and puppetry. I'll have all the links in the description. Uh, and there's another video where I talk about the difference between these builds, but let's dig in and I'll show you how to build this one. So let's start with the 3D printed parts. I've kept them on their little brim. This is how I just want to demonstrate that they're, they're printed in that orientation and uh, they print without supports. This version, version two does, should, uh, if your printer's tuned up right, even this little pulley here should be able to print without supports. I'm just gonna peel that brim off there. And don't forget this little trolley here, this little square block. Over here on the left, you can see the hardware that you're gonna need for this build. Got a few different type of bolts. They're all M3, so three millimeter bolts. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter long bolt that's gonna go uh, down the neck of this, this thing here to carry the little trolley and adjust the tensioning on the cables. You have this uh, 25 millimeter one, and that's the axle. It's gonna go through the fork and be the axle for this thing. And you got these two shorter ones. They are 15 millimeter, and they are gonna go through here and secure the little guide pulleys that guide the cable down the channels so that it will um, come out of the end here. Now we've also got these two little steel pulleys. These are the guide pulleys that guide the cable. And we also have these uh, little bearings. These are three millimeter holes there and these go inside of the fork here and provide the action. So it smooths out the action there. Then we got these pieces of PTFE tubing that carry the cable. This is what takes it from one end of the system to the other. You got two of these uh, joints and this tubing connects them. So you got two pieces of PTFE tubing with a piece of heat shrink over the end of it to keep them together. And then we also have some steel cable. And this is, well, it's just less than a millimeter, I think. It's relatively cheap. And I got little crimp beads there so that I can secure it. Let's start by putting the guide pulleys into the fork here. So got these little steel pulleys. You just drop it into the channel there. And then you're gonna use this 15 millimeter bolt. Make sure it goes through the pulley there. It's a little tough to get it into this hex hole. So we're just gonna shove that guy in there. Then you're gonna put a nut into the other side, to the hex hole there. And that should act as a little trap so that you can just tighten that in with one hand. Bring it down snug, but don't crush it down too hard because you will um, flex this, this fork in. Let's do the other side. I've got this fork with the little uh, pulleys in there, my little guide pulleys. And they're gonna guide the cable so that when it goes down this channel here, um, they're gonna help it get to the bigger pulley, this thing here. Before we stick, this pulley is gonna go in uh, inside the fork here like that. Uh, but before we put it in, we're gonna put the bearings inside of it. So we take these little bearings and we just press them in like that. One on the other side. Now you can kind of slide that pulley into the fork there, and then we're gonna use this 25 millimeter. We're gonna put it through the center there. Now that's the axle. We're gonna use a nut on the other side. So here, yeah, you're gonna tighten down this axle until you until the nut hits the bottom of that little chamber, but don't over tighten it because you don't want it to pinch. And constrain the action here. This should be nice and loose. Okay, once we've got the guide pulleys there and we've got this axle set in, now we're gonna install this little trolley. Here is our trolley. It's got a top side with larger holes. This larger side is for the crimp bead. And what that means is when you take a steel cable and put it into the trolley like that, the crimp bead can set down in that little hole. It takes a nut inside this little square hole, this nut trap. You slide the nut in with the faces, with, this, with the flat faces kind of 
straight up and down like that, it should slide in nicely. And shove it in far enough that it clears and you've got the, the thread showing on the inside of the hole there. Then this little trolley goes into the neck. Then we're going to use this nice long bolt here to connect with that nut. There it is mostly assembled. We just need to get the cables in there. And we also need to set up this guide tube. So for this tube, I've got these two pieces of PTFE uh, tubing, and I've made a mark 10 millimeters from the end. I want to bring this piece of heat shrink tubing right up to that 10 millimeter mark. Now let's heat shrink it. Now those are heat shrink together. I would do this all the way, the entire length to the other end, again, 10 millimeters from the other end, but for demonstration here, I just have left this loose. This is what the fitting should look like. Two pieces of tube with a piece of heat shrink that comes up to a 10 millimeters from the end there. This is essentially a type of plug that plugs into the back end of this here and will carry the power from the steel cables from one joint to the other joint. You're going to feed this wire down this tubing until you feel it make contact with the pulley. I often use the pulley's action to help get the cable started in the right direction because I need that cable. I need that cable to come out like this. You can see it's going to use the guide pulley to get over this larger pulley through this little space there over the top, around the other side, and then into the opposite of the two holes, which then has a channel that guides it up and it comes out the other side because then you can just slip it in through the little slot there and put your crimp bead on. Once you've added the crimp beads, you can then take these cables from the other end and get them set into the other pulley system. And then once you've got both of those set and they're, you know, you'll want to make sure they're lined up as you finish the crimp on the other end uh, and try to keep them both at the same angle. And then you're just going to tighten this bolt here, this long truss bolt to pull the trolley up. And that will adjust the tension it will pull the cables up, which pulls them through the housing here and will shorten them and tighten up the system. So that wraps it up for our version two robot arm joint with cables. Please leave me questions if you have them. I'll make sure all the links are in the description and uh, I'll see you next time.